Welcome to the winter edition of Shawnee Extra. I'm Leah Jingen, joined by San Lynham. Coming up soon, a new International Thespian Society was created at Shawnee High School. Stay tuned to see how students came together to start this club. Looking to learn more about the skill and dedication that being part of the girls' swim team requires? Stick around to discover what these amazing athletes are achieving both inside and outside the pool. Our reporters are out in the field with a better look at what's coming up in the show. Students are saving lives at Shawnee High School. Check out what the Heads Up Ice Board group is doing later in the show. Coming up next, find out how the winter track team prepares for sectionals. FCCLA wins at nationals. More on the way. Coming up later, find out if the bowling team will win their last meet or if they will strike out. Shawnee Dance Team is motivating young students to find their inner choreographer. Stay tuned to see the creativity at work. Have you ever wondered about the hard work that goes into Shawnee's Winter Musicals? I got a chance to speak with the director and a student about this year's musical Sister Act. Random Acts of Kindness is a club putting smiles on faces one project at a time. Stay tuned to see the great contributions they make to Shawnee. The Winter Track Team set several new school records this year. Claire Hauser, Taylor Dershel, Grace Kearns, and Carrie Bonner set a new record in the distance medley relay with a time of 12 minutes and 20 seconds. Mitch Casey tied the school record with a 14-foot pole vault. Madison Heaton got an inside look at the team's successful season. Hello, I'm Madison Heaton reporting for Shawnee Extra. Winter track is a fun competitive sport in which athletes train to improve their times and prepare for spring track. I had the opportunity to speak with Mr. Hill, the coach, and Mark Miller, a senior member of the winter track team, to find out what it's all about. Winter track is basically the track season where uh, athletes come to build strength and prepare for the next season. We come out and we practice and then we go and compete maybe once a week at Tom's River. Usually at practice we all warm up, we do a half mile and then we do some dynamic stretches and some static stretching and then we usually break off and we'll do whatever we have planned for the day. The team has performed very well. There's, there's quite a variety of things the kids can do and compete in. Um, we've done really well this year with uh, quite a few new athletes have come out for the program um, and they're really doing a nice job for us. And we have some veterans too, some seniors who have been outstanding. Um, specifically Mark Miller in the distance events and Mitch Casey in the pole vault. The running community itself is really just a, a really great community of, of really you know, quality kids and uh, real competitive athletes. Um, and they're like, a, they're like a family. They have a good time and uh, the senior leadership is very important to uh, kind of continue the good feeling amongst the team members. I think one lesson I've learned is how to compete. I think it's important because in life it gets pretty competitive and if you don't have a desire to move up then you're going to be left behind in a lot of places so I think track really teaches you to work your hardest and just keep going. You know it's really the kind of thing where if you have goals in mind and you want to pursue them um, it's a great season to start that. A lot of kids want to do that in the springtime but if you don't train much in the winter it's it's very difficult, if not impossible, to have a productive spring season. So it's important to come out and start your training with us in the winter. Thank you to Mr. Hill and Mark Miller for speaking with me about the winter track team. I'm Madison Heaton, sending it back to the studio. The Shawnee girls swim team is making ways with their quick strokes and extraordinary teamwork. Leah Jinian and Drake Strong went out to the pool to check it out. Hi, I'm Leah Jinan reporting for Shawnee Extra. The Shawnee Girls Swim Team is a program where athletes try to become not only superior swimmers, but exceptional students and citizens. We got the opportunity to speak with Ms. Howarth, the head coach, and a few of the team captains. I think swimming is like the most team-oriented individual sport you can be in. You know, you have your teammates there supporting you and you do some relays, but I think in the water you're basically by yourself and so it has to you know requires a lot of mental toughness so it, it means that girls learn how to push themselves they learn how to stick it out even when it's a tough race or even when they're tired so i think it teaches you um, perseverance it teaches you to be tough and your teammates are always there to kind of help you too girls swim team is a lot of like really motivated girls we're all really close to each other and we're all always cheering for each other at practice and at meets Proud of all like the friends that we are able to make together and the tight knit group that we have and how well we do. Um, I love to see the girls that come in and they've never really swam before and you just see their progress throughout the season. It's really cool to see. I think really it requires girls that are ready to get in the water and, and work hard. And I think this year we have a particular group of captains and some of our seniors that are great leaders that even if there's a tough set, they're gonna be there um, to push the girls around them. They're going to step up 
Um, they're not afraid of a challenge, and I think it takes girls like that to take the lead and to encourage those around them. I remember last year, specifically, um, we were in a really, really tough playoff meet. Like, you couldn't even hear. The girls were yelling so loud for each other. And so I think that, to me, is like one of the best experiences when you see everybody working hard, you see everybody pushing each other, and um, it's an awesome environment to be in. So. The swim team went on to win five meets with an overall record of five and four. We'd like to thank Ms. Howarth and the captains for speaking with us. For Shawnee Extra, I'm Leah Ginian, and back to the studio. Every winter, Shawnee's musicals draw large crowds for their high-energy performances. Jake Strong and Leah Ginian got the chance to go behind the scenes with the people who make it happen. Hi, I'm Jake Strong reporting for Shawnee Extra. Each winter, Shawnee High School puts on a musical. This year's show is Sister Act. I had a chance to speak with Miss Gill, the director, and Scott Hoover, an experienced student, about the show. This winter, we are putting on um, Sister Act, the musical. It's a, a fun comedy with very upbeat music by Alan Menken, who's also the guy who wrote all the Disney musicals. So um, the music is really fun. There's a lot of dancing, a lot of singing. Sister Act is about this girl who finds herself in a bit of trouble, and she has to go hide in this convent where she discovers that they're not very musically gifted. So she works with them, and uh, she adds her own flair to their performances, and it creates this something beautiful at this church. It's, it's a team effort. So as the director, I'm sort of overseeing everyone, kind of like a coach does on a team. Um, but it really takes, it takes everybody's responsibility, the cast, the crew, the directors, the staff, the orchestra, um, and I think it's, it's about pulling together and putting together a piece of art. One of the hardest part about being in musicals is memorizing your lines, because you, you get a script one day and you have pages and pages of dialogue, and you have to put an emotion to it, you have to put in a scenario, and it's, it's difficult at first, but once you get a technique down to learn your lines, you, you use that, and it just becomes simple then. Starting out as a freshman, coming in and joining right away, you, you're joining a family, essentially, for four years, who, um, and you, it's, it's a blast. It's just so much fun, and there's you know, no judgment. Everybody is very fun-loving and accepting, and it's, it's just it's, being involved in a theater community at all is, is always a wonderful thing to be a part of. Shawnee's actors and actresses are dedicated each year to putting on a great performance. I'd like to thank Miss Keel and Scott Hoover for talking to us. For Shawnee Extra, I'm Jake Strong. Now back to the studio. Did you know that there's a club making Shawnee a better place by doing anonymous acts? Brandon Joel is in the field to find out more. Random Acts of Kindness is a club that spreads goodness through anonymous deeds to make sure everyone at Shawnee feels welcome. I got the chance to speak with the club advisor, Ms. Baden, as well as student participant, Lee Majewski. So the goal of Random Acts of Kindness is to help spread kindness throughout the school community and the Medford community by doing things anonymously so that people don't really know where it's coming from, but kind of will make them feel warm and fuzzy inside. We got an email from one of the Board of Education members who said he was really excited about the group and that he was hoping that it would spread kindness to everybody. Um, so we started the Caught You Being Kind process. So I think that that is going to be a really great way to help entice people to be kind more often. The students who do participate and who are active and help, you know, they're taking the time out of their busy schedules. I have a few students who are involved in very many different activities. So when they come out and they help, you know, they're taking time away from other things just because they want to spread kindness. Some of our projects are holiday-based. We do things for Groundhog's Day and Valentine's Day. For the 100th day of school, we put out glow bands for people in their classes. And we post notes around the school just reminding people they have a great day and they're doing a great job. For Groundhog's Day, we, put, we cut out tiny groundhogs on brown paper and posted them around the school and handed them out to people. Just said, have a great day from Random Acts of Kindness. Random Acts of Kindness uh, just reminded me that it's okay to do nice things and not seek a reward for your uh, kind actions, and it's important to do nice things for other people. Students are coming up with great ideas to make Shawnee a better place for everyone. I'd like to thank Ms. Baden and Liam for speaking with me. For Shawnee Extra, I'm Brandon Joel, now back to the news desk. Shawnee Dance Team introduces many new students to diverse dance styles and a friendly environment to make new friends. Hello, I'm Troy Kowalski reporting for Shawnee Extra. Shawnee Dance Team is an activity that performs at Shawnee sporting events and other activities. I got to sit down with Ms. Holcomb, the Shawnee Dance Coach, and Abigail Redback, one of the four team captains. 
We have a lot of different choreography that we teach. So we basically go from jazz dances, we do hip hop dances, palm style dances, um, and we basically just intertwine all different types of techniques and styles um, with more modern music that we, you know, all listen to today. Dance team is really important to Shawnee, I feel like, because not everyone plays a sport, maybe, or likes running and stuff like that. So it's just dancing is just a better way to express yourself. My goal is to help the people, especially who may not dance as much as others, to kind of help them find their style in dance and give them, help them find their personality. Um, the girls work really hard to show their own materials, so we don't necessarily have like an outside choreographer, which some schools might do that, but all of our girls um, and dancers, they bring all the material that they teach is specifically material that they have come up with. My favorite part about the dance team is the fact that it brings us all closer together since originally we might not know each other and then all of a sudden we'll be best friends by the end of the season. I think just being surrounded by the group of individuals that we have this year, the, the team in general is just a very fun um, and respectful group of, of girls and they all really do have like a passion to 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 dance and so I think um, being a part of something like that is really exciting. I'd like to thank Miss Holcomb and Abigail Wormack for their interviews and their inside look on Shawnee Dance Team. I'm Troy Kowalski saying it back to the news desk. International Thespian Society is pulling students together to raise money for the theater department. Sam Lynham got the inside scoop about what goes on behind the curtain. Hi I'm Sam Lynham reporting for Shawnee Extra. Thespian Society is an honor society here at Shawnee created for students involved with theater and stage crew. We had the chance to sit down with club advisor Mrs. Hauer and club creator Veronica Robertson. International Thespian Society is a theater honor society um, that honors uh, people who are very involved in the theater departments at their schools. Um, so there's a point system and you have to have enough points from enough productions to be able to get in. And then it's mostly just to uh, raise money for the theater departments, for any lights or sets that we might need for any of the student run productions that we do. Um, and just kind of give people an incentive for participating in theater, even if they may not be a lead, like it's still like, hey, if you get enough ensemble roles, you can still be in thespian society. So it's a kind of cool thing that not a lot of schools have. I think it's a nice place for students to come that they feel like their um, talent is appreciated and recognized. And um, they also work to help raise funds for Spring Stage and other um, forms of of musicals and everything they do. So it's nice for them to come together and have a place where they can talk about um, fundraisers and, and things like that. It's kind of a home base. Thespians is a great and fun way for students to get involved with an honor society. I'd like to thank Mrs. Howard and Veronica for giving us an inside look on Thespians. I'm Sam Lynham, sending it back to the studio. The Shawnee Bowie's bowling team practiced hard to win South Jersey Group 4 sectionals and placed third in the state championships. Jake Heaton had a chance to discuss the bowling team with Mr. Franks and Chris Pagliuso. Hi, I'm Jacob Heaton reporting for Shawnee Extra. Whether you enjoy bowling casually with your friends or would like to boost your skills to the next level, the Shawnee bowling team mixes fun with competitiveness to ensure students a great experience. Recently, I had a chance to talk to Mr. Franks, the coach, and Chris Pagliuso, the captain. The bowling team's been a tradition here at Shawnee for a long time, and uh, especially this year, um, we've been having a great season. As a captain, I'm here to be a leader. I keep everyone positive, uh, we make bad shots, you know, we move on from it. Win a game, you know, it's great, but if we lose, you know, it's keeping everyone positive and saying, you know, it's, it's not over yet. Um, a lot of people just, you know, grab a ball off the rack and grab some shoes and, and just start chucking the ball. Um, you know, really, if you start doing it competitively, there's a lot more than, than I ever knew before I started coaching it. Um, as far as you know, how much oil is on the lane, what type of ball you're going to throw, um, and, and really once you start throwing the ball with a hook or a curve on it, um, you know, it starts to make you see how much thought goes into the game and, and where you're standing, what you're aiming for, um, you know, as opposed to just winging it down the lane. So there really is a lot more strategy than you would think, and, and once it gets more and more competitive, you, know, you continue to learn and learn more about the game. 
it's it's a great it's a great sport. It's a great time out after school. You know, you get to un, instead of going home and doing nothing, you can go out and go bowling and it, it's great for, like, bonding with friends, meeting new people, learning how to bowl. It's a fun time. Um, you know, over the last. Uh, four or five years we've had a ton of success we've seen our numbers grow uh, you know so we're regularly getting 40 50 60 kids out for the bowling team um, you know and with that I think our talent level has risen um, but we're gonna be losing a lot of key seniors this year so it'll be important uh, that you know we get some young bowlers next year to kind of replace them and start to improve from there I'd like to congratulate the boys bowling team for winning South Jersey's group four sectionals and placing third in the state championships I'd like to thank Mr. Franks and Chris Pagliuso for taking the time to discuss the bowling team. I'm Jacob Heaton, now back to the studio. FCCLA gives students the opportunity to compete in competitive events, which leads them to national conferences and titles. FCCLA is a club here at Shawnee that strives to shape students into the leaders of America. I had the opportunity to speak to Ms. Gerber and Colin DeVico to get more information on FCCLA. FCCLA is a career-based organization uh, with different subcategories such as the food, the fashion, the interior design, as well as child development. And the students participate in both the fall leadership conference as well as the spring leadership conference. And hopefully if they place at the spring le leadership conference, they can qualify for the national conference, which this year is in Nashville, Tennessee. Last year we had several students uh, place and be able to compete in San Diego, California, and several of them medaled in San Diego. So this year we have several students participating and competing in the Spring Leadership Conference and hoping a few of them will make it to the National Conference. Through fundraising such as Smoothie King, we are able to fund different activities and go to conferences and give back to the community, acknowledge those in the career professions we are looking to go into, as well as provide us with different information and knowledge to prepare us for the career we intend to go into. So we do safe trick-or-treat where young children can come on a Saturday and they trick-or-treat through the hallways and we're a big part of that. Overall, FCCLA benefits everybody, um, non-members, members, because of different things such as safe trick-or-treat and Read Across America. The atmosphere of FCCLA is a very friendly atmosphere with members from all across the family consumer sciences coming together. We become a close-knit group that connects through conferences and meetings, as well as other events, to form a bond in and outside of the classroom. I'd like to thank Colin DeVico and Ms. Gerber for speaking with us and telling us all about FCCLA. I'm Karen Wendell, and now back to the news desk. Distracted driving is a serious issue, but there's a group at Shawnee working to spread awareness. Brandon and Joel went out to learn more. Heads Up Buys Forward is a student-driven PSA to spread safe driving awareness. Today I got a chance to speak to Sean Erb and Mr. Donaldson. Heads Up Eyes Forward is an initiative put forward by the Lenape District Television Station. It's kind of promoting as a whole the whole initiative of don't be a distracted driver, but you need to be a safe driver. Um, the ultimate reward is having students that are aware when they leave the parking lot at Shawnee High School um, that they need to be safe and concentrate on the road. It's an organization called You Got Brains, and every year they ha have all of New Jersey, all of South Jersey, um, try and have initiatives in their own in their own schools for less distracted driving, better driving. You Got Brains is run through the state of New Jersey. Uh, they invite schools to enter at the beginning of every school year. And basically the messages they want from the schools is drive distraction free. Um, and it encompasses everything from texting to eating to just keeping your eyes on the road. We're helping the other schools bring their programs up to par with ours, helping them improve their programs, helping them get started. Um, it's kind of a new challenge for us this year than just being a competitor. Every year our students have done a fantastic job with the Heads Up Eyes Forward program and the students that come in after them really have to find new and unique ways to set the program apart from what the students did the year before. We have the Heads Up Eyes Forward parking spot where once a month um, we select one person who has the magnet on the car gets to park there. I definitely notice when people have been a better driver and I definitely remember to try and be a better driver every chance I can. Seriously, it's not just a slogan, it's not just a logo. Uh, really, keep your heads up and your eyes forward when you're driving. Um, don't look at your phone. Don't turn the music up too loud. Don't be distracted by the kids in the back of the car. Um, everybody wants you to get from point A to point Z safely, so um, that's why we do this campaign, so please drive safe. You're doing a great job, guys. To find out more, visit lrhsd.org heads up. I'm Brandon Joel. Now back to the news desk. 
Thank you for joining us for this edition of Shawnee Extra. Be sure to join us next time for updates on everything here at Shawnee. From all of us here at Shawnee TV, see you next time.